Hey, what's up, you guys? If you saw my other video that I did, that was me. I moved back, my knee hit the thing. Hang on, my camera guy fell over. Um, if you saw my video that I just did of Hacksaw, you know what the title was about. And I said at the end I'll show you in another video. So what you need is like this piece of wood. So it's like, um, I don't know what it's off. Like, I guess when you carve a big piece of wood, you get this or something. I'm not sure. My dad is the brains. Um, so you get this piece of wood, as you can see, and then you snap it in half. If I can, it was hard for me to do it when I made mine. Okay, so I'm not actually going to do it because I've already made one, but it doesn't look like it, but it's good enough. Um, because it fits in your hand. So once you do that, like the size you want, so if you want it a bit smaller, you snap it in half again. Oops. So if you want it like this size, that's what you get. And you just take off little pieces of wood. Then you've got your 2 by 4 But if it doesn't fit in your hacks or Jim Duggan's hand, like you don't have to have it the same size, it's just an example. What you do is you find like the end or something and you rip, try and rip the sides off so it can fit. So as you can see, my hacksaw Jim Duggan, his doesn't fit in his hand. So you get the sides and you rip them off. As you can see, I, I'm trying to do it, but it won't work. So if you rip, like, see that sort of layer, you like, or you can bend it. I don't know. Either way, you rip that off to the size you want. If it still doesn't fit, you go to the end and you rip a bit off, like I did. Um, this looks, this looks sort of scary. Um. And if you put it in his hand, and he, and, he, and you pull his arm back and he just throws it, you get a bit of tape back here, well, tape, and you just, I'm not going to do it on this one, I'll do it on my one, and you just wrap it around it. Right, like that. It's okay if it doesn't look like that, it just needs to fit. And then, once you're done, blah blah blah, you can put like three layers on it. If you want it extra tight to stay on, you put three layers of tape. If you want two, it's going to stay tight but loose. If you put one on it, I think he'll still just like throw it. So now that I've put three layers on, it's tight. And I think if you put four on, will be even tighter. So they so that's what you should get. Uh throw all three pieces of my wood and uh do this. Um yeah. So that's what you guys should get. If you wanna know what tape recommend using, I probably recommend using this clear sort of tape. Not like duct tape if you want to use duct tape that would be fine but I recommend using the clear tape you got it from the finger See, I recommend using this sort of tape so um I'm just saying if there's anything I need to fix because I've got a piece of tape uh, there is wait Sorry, I'm sorry about this. My uh, little post for backstage keeps coming off. There we go. So I recommend using that. Um, then you have your two by four for axle. Or 
Or, if you don't have a hacksaw or Jim Duggan and you just want a 2x4 for like anybody really like, uh, let's see. Let's say you've got Ron Strowman. Like, it's a hardcore match or extreme rules match. It might not fit in their hands. Like, I've actually never tried it. So, like, it might just a tiny bit. But if you make yours a bit skinnier, yours will fit in your other figure's hands. So, I made it too tight. Shoot. And that's how you make a 2x4 for your Hacksaw Jim Duggan figure. Or, for you just glue, like, other figures. Like, you don't have any Hasbros, you don't have Hacksaw. You've got your own 2x4 for wrestling. Excuse me, that's how I go. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. <coughs>